didn't find it it just came to me okay. <laughs> and um, yeah I was really I started music I was seven I was in Cameroon and I started with a uh, piano I took classical piano lessons and then I taught myself the guitar I was 11 10 or 11 and that's when I started composing my songs and why don't you want to go this um, classical way because it's I don't know my mother uh, used to sing at the choir of the church and uh, for that, she was really into classical music. She would listen a lot to classical music. So as a child, my ear got used to it. And for some reason, I just told her one day, and I didn't even remember, she told me a few years ago, you were the one who asked for uh, lessons, actually, because most of the time, parents take their okay. children to the piano. And I asked, apparently, for that. I don't know why. OK, so can you imagine a collaboration with an orchestra, for example, with your music? Oh, I'd love to. I'd love to. And I think in every every style of music, it, it's always been a great combination, the classical uh, elements with even rap or, or rock or whatever. I think this combination has always worked. So, okay. yeah, definitely. So, how can you explain the big success of your single, I Know? How can I explain? Yes. Um, I don't know. I guess you can never explain that. It's really like, um, I feel really blessed that uh, people got to uh, know that song because um, I remember it was one of the first songs I wrote and uh, when I wrote it, I really wanted a melody that sticks in the head because I was basically saying to, um, to the politicians of my country, I know that you don't care about your people. Yeah. And um, you know, the only weapon that I have is this song and I hope someday people are gonna sing it. So uh, when I see people sing it, uh, you know, when I'm on stage, uh, I realize that it worked. So uh, yeah, it's really, it's really great. So how uh, do you try to keep up with the things you're doing right at the moment and in which ways uh, does concurrence um, or competition affect your music? Then? Uh, which way concurrence uh, competition affect my music? Yes. Um, I mean, I don't try to think, I mean, you mean other artists? Yes, for example, um, like all the music competition that is yeah, music work. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, it's, true. it's true that uh, for some reason uh, music, competition has effect on every domain out there and I think it's sad because now we're just doing things to beat this one or to beat this one or to be the best and I think that's that shouldn't be the way so I really try to focus on what I did disregard this competition thing and really honestly I try to because at the end of the day if you're doing this just to be, be better than this one you're actually limiting yourself yeah. so I try to not think of that okay yeah so you work together with uh, with Will I Am from Black Eyed Peas, and how was it working with uh, someone like him, and uh, what did you learn from him? Um, actually, I did not properly work with them. We met in a French TV show in France in the dressing rooms, okay. and uh, he saw me perform for that TV show, and I just asked him like at that time I would put videos on on YouTube. I I do it too now. And um, I just asked him, like, do you want to make a video with me for, for yeah. your fans, for my fans, like yeah. just on YouTube and, you know, just having fun? And I was sure he was going to say no. And um, I just took a shot and he said yes. He said, yeah, let's do it. Let's, you know, let's have fun. So we took, he took my, my computer and started recording and we had fun. We did a lot of take of that I want you back cover. And I, I mean, it just humbles you a lot when you see that one of the greatest major artists that's on earth right now yeah. is just you know accepting to do that just to have fun because he feels he feels it's right and it, it's really a lesson a great lesson for for a smaller artist yeah. that sometimes tend to you know yeah. yeah it's it's a great great lesson okay so how do you combine your texts with your music and um, how do the texts appear in your music after you, after you wrote them down? Um, it can be both, it can be both ways. Sometimes it's I have just this melody stuck in my head for some reason and I just try to play with it on uh, my guitar and my piano and try to find the lyrics that uh, it, it, you know, 
that works the most to, to express what I feel when hearing this melody. And sometimes I have just this theme and that, that, that those things I want to say about, about something that you know, makes me mad or makes me wonder and I just write the lyrics first and then I find the melody. Okay. So in which way are you not afraid of in the future or uh, in which, I, which way uh, are you afraid of not having that uh, success you had before? Um, it's true that I ask myself that, that question like what would you do if all of a sudden you weren't as successful as you are now? And I'm like, you know, I'll do music anyway. Music is my passion, and uh, I have my guitar. I always have my guitar. I can sing everywhere. Yeah. And um, really, that's one of the, I mean, you don't stop being an artist just because you're not on the radio. Yeah. And um, it's a great thing to be on the radio and to have people, more and more people listen to your music. It's, it's a bless, actually. But I mean, if you don't have all that, it doesn't mean that you have to stop making music. So. So you just said that uh, it's great that uh, more and more people listen to your music, mm -hmm. and in which uh, which role does YouTube uh, still plays in your life now after you just uh, started with YouTube? Um, it's still the my, I mean I still try to put videos as often as I can because it's really the way it started and it's the way it should keep on going because um, at the end of the day, it's. All my, my the first person that supported me are there and waiting for the videos over there. So I just try, um, even if I'm on tour, even if I'm like really, um, there are a lot of things going on right now. I really try to um, keep on posting videos. On so, um, what is uh, for you the most important uh, important issue at writing a song and doing music? I mean, you mean the most important issue that I talk to, that yeah, I talk yes. about in my song? the most important thing that you have to look for writing a song, like the melody or the refrain or... Oh, text, what is the most music. important? Oh, right, okay. You know what? I think it's a combination of everything. Like, really, I think the lyrics are... They, the lyrics are more and more important to me than they used... Like, uh, before, it used to be like this. Like, it would come into my mind. I would not really... Uh, go through them, I will I will let it flow. And sometimes it's good because it's the feeling, the first yeah. feeling is always right. But right now I really try to be like right with every word and try to, you know, get it right because I think I, it's really important. Like you have all those, for example, all those, all those young people listening to you and you can't just say whatever. You have to think yeah. about what you're saying. And um, so the lyrics are really important and of course the melody. I don't know who says that, but um, it says the melody is the key to people's heart, yeah. and it, the melody has to be right, okay. and um, and the melody. I mean, both the lyrics and the melody. So it's um, a combination. Of it's a combination. Of everything. Everything. Yeah. So um, besides being on stage, uh, as it is, um, what was your best uh, experience experience during the tour so far? Uh, man, I've, I've, been, I've been touring for five years now, like <laughs> nonstop. Okay, so if you just could pick one or two. One, um, wow, it's hard because I had a lot of great experience. And even, like, I toured like this, like solo. I yes. toured with a band. So I have a lot of different yes. experience coming to my memory right now. And uh, I would say I loved, um, like, at the bef before my album came out in France, I used to open for uh, major artists in okay. France. And I would say that is a great part of, uh, of my ex tour experience because I learned a lot with them. Um, they were really great. I mean, I don't think they're known in, in Germany, yeah. but they're really, really big in France and uh, they were really supportive and they taught taught me a lot. So okay. I would say it's the best experience. So do you, okay. do you like to play in front of, I don't know, like 2,000 people or two people? I would say two people more. Okay. But it's more intimidating to play in front of two people of course, because yeah. you see them and they see you and you can actually see their faces. And so I would say I love to perform in small venues where you can really feel the audience. But you know what? Performing, uh, for example, in festivals in front of like thousands, thousands of people, it's kind of, it's a great experience too because you it's all about the energy and what you give to people yeah. to have them like really paying attention to what you're saying yeah. and uh, it's a great great experience too okay. but definitely the smaller venues okay definitely
So uh, my last question, what are your plans for this year or the next year? Can you tell us something? Yes, um, I'm currently recording my second album uh, in New York. I just moved to New York like a few months ago. So uh, I'm recording my second album and um, there is an EP that's going to be released at the end of the year, 2013. And uh, the album will probably come out 2014, like beginning of 2014. So there's no title so far? No, yeah. Okay. I, I can't even think of anything right now. Is I think I guess it's just gonna you know pop yeah. out some some. Okay, yeah, great. So that was it. So we wish you good luck. Thank you. Very for your much. new album and the tour. Thank so you. Far. And have a nice show tonight. Thank you. I will.